For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. So let's see here how we can install PNP for Nachos here. So before we are going to install the dependencies, which is m install rrd tool. So which is an a rrd database which uh, for performance data is stored. So I'm going to install that first of all, which is an a prerequisite for installing the PNP for Nachos. So let's complete this package installation. Okay, so it is completed. Now again, install the few more uh, dependencies, which is uh, Ruby, Xorg X11 fonts. Type 1 and PHP XML. So these are the dependent packages we have to install. Say yes. Now we're just going to install this dependent packages. Now we have done with the, the uh, installing the dependent packages. Let's go to the Google and uh, look for the PNP uh, for Nagio source code and download that source code. So I'm just looking at the Google say that download PNP for Nagio. So you can also download from the search for source force. Uh, the first link otherwise uh, you can also use this github repository you can clone that as well okay so this is the repository we have to download pnp for notches and uh, copy the code location url and go back to the server and say git clone and provide the url oops uh, git command is not found so now just install the git command here m install git so it will install the git command and its dependent packages so now it's completed again try with the git clone so now it's going to clone that repository so it will take a little time because based on your internet speed it download the repository so now it's downloaded successfully. Change the folder to PNP for Nagios. You can see that. So there are files downloaded from Git repository. So now just run the configure dot slash configure with Nagios user and Nagcmd group. So uh, with RRD tool. So where is the RRD tool location? So you can use this which com which RRD tool command or where is RRD tool command to find out the path. So you can just paste that path here and uh, iPhone iPhone with user Nagios iPhone iPhone Nagios with group is NAGCMD is the group name we have created and hit enter so it will configure this packages now make those packages make all so now we'll make completed. So now install this. Make install dash webconfig webconf. So it will install the web configuration file. Make install dash config. So it will install the actual configuration part files and make install nat. So which install the daemon config and make install. So now no need to install anything so you can just run again full install which will run all of the commands again so make sure that we did not miss anything so now start this service slash etc natd ncpd start oh sorry it's a spelling mistake so it's a npcd npcd start so now service has been started and enable while reboot so chk config npcd on so now we have started and switched on the service if you reboot so and restart the nagios and the web service to take this effect system ctl restart nagios and system ctl restart httpd
done so now go back to the web browser and uh, look for the ip address slash pnp for nachos so you can see that it should all pass but you can see that there is a one not passed which is showing that dependency is missing so let's uh, jump back to the server and install this dependency so now let's install m install gd gd dash devil php dash gd iphone y so which is the dependent package required for this dependency to resolve so now completed let's restart the http service now go back to the url and say refresh you can see that now all the dependencies has been passed so now we have to remove this temporary pnp for nagios file xml file php file we have to delete it rm iphone rf and you can just use slash usr local pnp for nagios share install.php so this is the one which is an a fast install.php okay remove it now just run some pnp verification using the script under the scripts there is a verify pnp config so that uh, whether we installed it correctly or not is there any missing dependencies or is there any missing configuration it will show us so iphone m bulk mode i'm using here iphone c and the configuration path to the nagios.cfg file and iphone p to the installation the pnp for uh, location is where the installation path is so i can see that there are some critical um, powerful data is missing host powerful data files are not defined anywhere so we have to define them so let's edit the uh, nagios.cfg file slash usr local nagios etc nagios.cfg file and come down all the way so copy this configuration file from the grid repo so i already say that it is available in my git repository and paste it here so that is the service perf data and host perf data settings these are the setting files you can just copy it and save this file so and we have to enable few options here which is uh, process performance data okay process performance data equal to 1 and enable macros so we also we need to enable the macros here let's uh, search for enable environment macros and uh, turn this also one and save this file now edit the commands.cfg file and add the commands so it should uh, process the performance data we need the command so come back all the way down and again go back to the git repository and copy this command and paste it on the commands.cfg file now save it and uh, restart the nagio service to take the effect and again verify that command you can see that okay so there is no critical things so all is going well so that's all the pnp for nachos installation is completed so the pnp for action url should work later on so we'll see when you configure the host and services That's about it guys, uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. If you want to join the uh, WhatsApp group, the link is given below in the description, click on the link and join the WhatsApp group for connecting with more technical people.